previous video got us familiar to the concept of indicators. Indicators are the substances that are used to detect the acidic or basic nature of solutions. We have seen how turmeric acts efficiently as a natural indicator. Now let's talk about another natural indicator and that is China Rose. China Rose is a plant. So how can that be used as an indicator? The fact is, the flowers of China Rose possess a good ability of detecting acids and bases. So how do we use China Rose flower as an indicator? It's very simple. All we have to do is add hot water to the petals of China Rose in a beaker and let it rest for some time. This solution can be used as an indicator. When drops of this are added to an acidic solution, then the colour of the solution changes to magenta red or a slightly different shade of red for that matter. However, when added to an alkaline solution, the colour of the alkali changes to green or yellowish green to be precise. The solutions change colour in very less time. And that is how we use China Rose as an indicator. However, Sometimes it's not very convenient to add the indicator to the solution. In such cases, some different type of system is required. Something more efficient. So in such cases, litmus paper comes to our rescue. What are litmus papers? Well, before that, tell me, have we come across the terms lichens? Yes. We have studied in biology that the symbiotic relation of algae and fungi gives us a unit called lichens. The major function of lichens in an ecosystem is that they act as a pollution indicator. Their growth is hindered when there is excessive pollution. As a result, chemical changes in the body of lichens can give us indications of the nature of substances that come in contact with them. So a substance extracted from a lichen's body called litmus is used as a natural indicator for chemical purposes, especially in detecting the acidic and basic nature of solutions. The litmus obtained from a lichen's body is a mixture of some dyes that are usually absorbed on a filter paper. This paper made with litmus on it is used as an indicator for detecting acids and bases. Two colours of litmus papers are usually available. Red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. The red litmus paper, when comes in contact with an acid, displays no colour change but turns blue in presence of a base. In contrast to this, the blue litmus paper turns red on contacting an acid while it remains unchanged in a basic solution. This is how several compounds are used as indicators that help us in detecting the acidic and alkaline nature of solutions. Let us now move ahead and find out what happens when we mix an acid and a base. But we know this already. We have seen that an acid and a base when mixed gives us salt and water. Let's study this neutralization reactions in detail in the next video.